You guys good? Ready? Yeah? Yeah? No? Me neither. So let's do this. All right, everybody. Hi, welcome. I hope you're having a good morning. I'm working on it. I'll be good after this. I think we all will be. So let's start. <laughs> all right, let's start where everybody wants to start. Let's get on that back for that first Shavasana. We already know what we're doing. Oh, everyone wants to lay down. So let's do that. Ah, right on my freaking, freaking, freaking frack. Okay, there we go. All the way down on your back, get comfortable, shake it off. Find that mold in your mat for your back. Let your legs and arms hang. Palms up if you're looking for 11 light, palms down if you want to be grounded. And everybody take that big, nice, first, deep inhale in through your nose. And let it go. Let it all go. Whatever you brought on your mat with you today, let it out. Breathe it out through your mouth. Let it swirl around above your head and out of your way. Don't bring it with you through the rest of your day. You don't need whatever that was. Get the last few bits of sleepy out of your system and take that nice deep inhale in through your nose and let that one go. Let it all go. Let go of your cares. Let go of your worries. You made it here on your mat today and that is all that matters right now. You can deal with the rest of your bullshit later. Right now you're on your mat. You made it here. Be proud of yourself. Step one is done for the day. Last nice deep inhale in through your nose and let that last one go all the way out. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Find those sore spots in your body if you have any. I do. My ass hurts from last week, last week, Monday. So let it go, let it go, let it go. And bend your knees. Placing the soles of your feet on your mat, hip distance apart with your ankles directly below your knees. Flip those hands over. If they were up, palms down on your mat. We're doing that spinal articulation, starting to get a little bit of movement happening in our hip flexors. So ground those heels into that mat directly under your knees. Flip those hands and take a nice big deep inhale in through your nose. And on that exhale, tuck, curl, and lift those hip bones all the way into the air, feeling that stretch in your psoas muscles. Hip flexors are starting to open. Squeeze those glutes behind you. Quads are nice and tight. Belly button to the floor, ass to the ceiling. Come up a little bit higher, pushing the mat away through the heels of your feet. Knees are directly over your ankles. Come up a little bit higher. Push those psoas muscles open. And take that deep inhale in through your nose. And on that exhale, slowly roll your body down one vertebra at a time until you land at your tailbone. Good. Readjust if you need to and take that next nice deep inhale in through your nose. And on that exhale, tuck, curl, lift those hip bones all the way up to the ceiling. Make sure your knees aren't splaying out. Knees are directly over your ankles, ankles, heels, pushing into that mat. Bring your psoas muscles open even more. Open up those hip flexors. Squeeze those glutes behind you. Quads are nice and tight. Belly button to the floor. Ass to the ceiling. Come up a little bit more. Squeeze those glutes behind you. I cannot check. I love checking this, but I can't check. Squeeze those glutes behind you. Come up a little bit more. Shut the fuck up, Lisa. Okay. Take a nice deep inhale in through your nose and roll your body down all the way, one vertebra at a time, until you land at your tailbone. Use that whole exhale. Last one, deep inhale all the way in. Take that nice, big, refreshing breath, and on that exhale, tuck, curl, lift those hip bones all the way to the ceiling. Last chance to open up those psoas muscles, belly button to the floor, ass to the ceiling, squeeze those glutes, quads are tight, heels into the mat, and if you have it in you, taking all 10 fingers behind your body, rolling onto your shoulders, coming up into that nice yogic bridge. Make sure your knees aren't splaying out. Come up a little bit more, squeeze those glutes, find your happy place, because I know it's not here, and take that nice deep inhale in through your nose. And on your exhale, move the hell out of your way, and come on down, nice and slow, nice and controlled, until you land 
I don't know what happened to my voice already. I'm already jacked up Ugh, at your tailbone. <sighs> okay, that's it. That's all you get. Let's get into it. Again, not starting with bridges. I feel like bridges have to go to like that beat. By the end of the class, I don't care anymore about beat, but at the beginning of the class, since you guys are not on my flow, since I can't make music happen for everybody, I just don't want to do it. It makes me nervous. So start up your music, whatever you're going to play. I think I'm garage booty, no, garage booty. That's not going to go <laughs> very well to this. Garage Pilates. Starting with the second song. All right, there. I got my flow going. Okay, we're going to start out with those butterfly crunches. So you know them, you've done them before with me, most likely. Soles of your feet together, right? Blades of your feet are on your mat. Grab onto those weights if you want to set them aside. Oh, fake out. All right, push your tailbone up off the ground. You should be flying a little bit. Push your tailbone off the ground. Knees are out nice and wide. You're going to just pulse right here. You can always have those hands that come through. This makes it a little bit more intense for your lower abs. Pushing your chin to the ceiling will make it a little bit intense for your upper abs. Pick your pony, figure out what you want to ride today, and <laughs> let's go all the way up, all the way down. Just make sure that you are pushing through the blades of your feet. Okay, blades of your feet are down and you are going full range, tailbone in the air, rolling that tailbone up. If you have your hands like this, you can absolutely grab those weights. That is fine. Change. If you didn't have weights in your hand and you want one now, we're going to the side. So right hand is up, left hand is going to that left knee. Whoa, you can drop your tailbone and go to the side. Over to the side, side it up. Tailbone is now on the ground because this I don't think is very possible with your tailbone flying. If you can figure it out, good for you. You're going to one side and one side only. Reaching through that left knee. Change. All right. If you want your weights, cool. If you don't want your weights, that's fine too. Fly that tailbone up off the ground. You're going straight forward or straight up. One or the other. Pick one. Let's go. Straight forward or straight up. Just make sure that your tailbone is off the ground. That's the most important part of that. Keeping that movement going. I can hear his armpit ruffle, I think. Here we go. Change. Oh Take it all the way down. Left arm up this time, right out to the side, reaching for that right knee. Tailbone drops down to the ground. Let's go. Reaching to that right. Reach. So you're not tipping over. You're still reaching up and out to the side, but you're starting to feel it in those obliques. One side is getting worked a little harder than the other. Keep it up, change. Keep those weights or drop them. Bring that tailbone up off the ground. Find that butterfly position. Knees are out, just let them hang. No one's there, no one's judging you. Let's go. Bring it forward, bring it up. Wherever you wanna be. Just make sure you're pushing the ground away through those feet. Hey, hey. You probably can hear this in my microphone. I gotta turn it down. Keep it going. James, take it all the way down. Taking it to the other side. Right arm up, left arm reaching to that knee. Drop that tailbone. Set her up and let's go. Pull to the side, pull to the side. Reaching for that knee. Reaching to the ceiling. You got it, you got it, keep with it. Almost change. All right, butterfly. Get the soles of those feet together. Pull that tailbone up. Let's go. Reach up or reach out. Wherever you want to be. Coming back onto those shoulder blades every time, making it a full range of motion. Even though the range isn't that big, it's still full range. Almost there, change. All right, one more. Taking it over to the right side, left hand up, 
right towards that right knee, drop that tailbone, let's go. Big butterflies. Reach all the way past that knee. If you're starting to feel this in your shoulder, drop that weight. You got it. Stay with it, stay with it. This is the last one. Almost, almost changed. Drop those weights, shake it off. Ooh. All right. I've been avoiding these because people hate them, but no longer. You're doing them. You're strong enough. I was avoiding them because quarantine made, a <laughs> made me soft and I didn't want to do them, but we've been doing this for a while now, so we're good to go. We got bananas. All right, so you have banana toe taps. Shut up, timer. You got banana toe taps to start. So you're in that banana position. If you've never heard me explain it before, this is a banana. This is a dead guy. This is literally corpse pose. This is banana, okay? You're keeping your core nice and strong, rolling your tailbone up to get those heels up off the ground. Shoulder blades are up off the ground. Banana toe taps, you're gonna ooh, 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 take yourself to one side. Tap the toes, opposites, right? Opposite, come back down to that banana and back up, back down to that banana. It's not a bicycle. Okay, that's cheating. Coming all the, way, all the way back down to that banana position and right back to tap the other side. All right, ready or not, you got this. If you need your hands, use your freaking hands. I don't care, I'm not watching. Ready or not, let's go. Take it up and back down, all the way down. Not all the way down, but all the way down. Take it up and back down, up, back down. Side to side to side. Decide. Ooh. Yeah. These suck, but they're so good. Change. All right. Rock it out. You got banana boats. So everybody knows Navasana, banana position. Two, boat position. Use your hands. I don't care. Put your hands down. Change. We're ready. Let's go. Do something. The timer went off. Come down, come up. Come down, come up. Do whatever you got to do to get through it. I need to pull my pants up to get through it. Okay, here we go. Up and down, down, up. Banana, boat, banana, boat. Change, shake it off. You got another banana toe tap. Take it all the way back down to that banana position. Let's go. Banana up, banana up. Switching sides every time, banana. Banana. You can do this. You've got this. Change. <laughs> Don't worry, I hate myself right now too. Pull the pants up. Okay, banana boats. Let's go. Take a banana, take a boat. Banana, boat. Banana, boat. It doesn't need to be intense. Okay, do what you can. Bend those knees if you need to. <laughs> I need a wardrobe change in the middle of this. Uh, change! You got one more beat. Banana toe taps. Find that banana. And let's go. Up, up. Use your breath. Use your resources, which is your breath. Use your hands if you need to. Push yourself up. You got it. You're almost there. Breathe. Change. One more banana boat. All right. Ready? Find that banana. Let's go. Up and down. Up and down. Pull those knees in if you want. And down. This is also Navasana. This is Navasana, okay? Find your Navasana. Pull it too. <laughs> change, I gotta redeem myself. There we go. All right, change, change, change. I'm freaking tired today. This isn't a good look for me. All right. Ready? Come on to your side. All the way onto your side. We're doing side crunches. But I want that top leg kind of straight. 
So side crunches, right? You got your knees up, you're going straight up to the ceiling or straight forward, right? But you're not pulling on that head. So your chin is up, you got side crunches. What I'm looking for is side crunches, but getting that leg involved, okay? So side crunch, side crunch, side crunch. So it's like a combination of a jackknife and a side crunch. I'm looking for that leg to move straight up to the side. This guy's still hanging out on the ground. Ready or not, pick a side. I don't care which side you're on. Let's go. Take it up, take it up, take it up. Pulling that leg, you're on your side. You're working right here in those obliques. Roll it on your hip, not directly change, not directly on your hip bone. You're looking for right behind that hip bone, but you wanna still be on your side. Set two, same idea. Get that leg out, let's go. Side, side, side. Don't pull on your head, okay? Look up, find your rhythm, get that leg moving, use your breath, change. That was two, you got two more, same side, get that leg out, ready or not, let's go, take it up. Find your flow, get your leg moving, use your obliques, you get this, change, one more, right here, set her up, let's go, take her up, hook, hook, pull, pull, Kind of getting a little glute thing going at the same time. You were thinking it. You can do this. You got it. Finish, 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 change. All right. Hup. Take it to the other side. You got four sets. Other side. Ready? Set yourself up. Let's go. Hup. Timer doesn't care. Timer is not waiting for anybody. You got to go with it. Don't pull your head, just decorate. Pull, 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 change. You got three more. Ready? No, too bad, let's go. Get it up, get it up there. All right, if you're not feeling this here, you're like, what the fuck is the point? The move, figure it out. Figure out where you're gonna feel it. You're trying to feel it right here, that pull, 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 pull. Change. If you need to roll back a little bit more, if you need to roll forward a little bit more, find where you need to be to feel it in your oblique. Let's go. Everybody's body is a little bit different. I can tell you the idea of where I want you to be, but you have to find it in your own body. What's working for you, what you feel. Ooh, ooh, I feel this in my ass, change. Which is good, I guess. Still looking for the good butt. Good asses of Brentwood. Still working on it for you guys. Let's go. La, la, la. Keep moving it up, straight up, almost there, find your flow, almost, almost, Eee, change, take it down, go one more, ready, get that leg out, set it up, let's go, up you go, up you go. Hi, you guys good? Stay with me. You've got a couple seconds left. That's it, change. All right. That was four. 
Okay, you're gonna hit that side plank. I'm looking for one of two things today. Giving options. All right. I am not demoing on that side because that fucking knee hurts. Okay, here we go. All right, find your side plank. Side plank, side plank. You can hang out like this. I don't care. You can hang out just like this for a side plank. Your foot can be on top, in front, or really in front. I want you to try and stay up the whole time in between two panes of glass. So that doesn't mean leaning back. That doesn't mean leaning forward. That means you're in between two panes of glass. If you want to, you can take it a bit further. Arm above your head, find that knee and pull. Find that knee and pull all the way up, all the way down, okay? You find what's gonna make you happy. If neither choice makes you happy, you <laughs> do it anyway. I don't care. This is what you woke up for. Me and my potty mouth, right? Right. All right, come up into that nice side plank and either hold it or let's get some movement going. Up and back. If you want your weight in your hand, because you're a badass, do it. Do you. 15 seconds down, 15 to go. If you're doing this and you find that this isn't sustainable for that whole time, instead of falling down, find that nice side plank and hold that side plank. Ready? Change. Take it down. All the way. All right. I'm just going from side to side. So take that other side plank for me. This isn't how I usually do it, but that's okay. All right, find your side plank on the other side. We're just going with it. Set it up, L, and let's go. I don't think I can, oh, I can. All right, we're doing it. You get 30 seconds, well, 20 now. <laughs> You can do this. Static hold if you feel like you can't do this for the next 10 seconds, okay? Just give me that static hold. Almost, almost, almost. Ready? Change. Take it down. Okay. Shake it off and find that low plank. You have low plank to high plank without Sally. <laughs> One day I'll bring Sally in. <laughs> if you're like, who the fuck is Sally? You don't know until you know. All right, come all the way down into that nice low plank. Now, what's a plank look like? It's not like this. This is not what it looks like. Bring your ass down. Keep your ass in check. Push the floor away through your elbows. Find that nice plank. From here, find your hands. Come all the way up. High plank. Notice my ass did not do a thing, right? Keep it low, down and up. Try and change hands the entire time, which I didn't do, there we go. Try and change hands every time from low plank to high plank. Ready, set it up and let's go. Let's find that low plank, take it up to high, right back down to low. And no, you're not imagining things. I did show up in shorts. In editing the video, I realized that it cut this out. So I have to do this all over again. All right, 15 seconds down, 30 to go. Switching every single time which arm you push yourself up with. Make sure that you are pushing directly under your elbow, under your shoulder, all the way up, all the way down. Notice everything is nice and tight. My stomach is tight, my glutes are tight, my quads are tight. Everything is locked in that plank position. Coming all the way up, all the way down, five seconds left. Up and down. Down and up. All right, change. Take yourself down. Well, this is fun. <laughs> okay. Coming down into that prone position, all the way on your stomach, you have weight transfers. So, get your weights set up in front of you. What you're gonna be doing is using your glutes and your hamstrings and your lower back to pull yourself all the way up. Arching that back, coming right back down, Pulling those weights back down by your waist, coming back up and flying. Weights come forward, weights come back. Weights come forward, 
weight transfers. If you are finding that this is not in your wheelhouse today to have these weights, that's okay. Arms come forward, arms come back. 30 seconds on the clock, ready or not, let's go. Woohoo! Bring it up and bring it back. Make sure you don't bend your knees. You want to pull with your glutes and your lower back. Your lower back and your core. All the way up and all the way back. Coming back forward and behind. You have five seconds left. Coming all the way up, using that back, using those shoulders and change. Take it down. Okay. Coming back up, stretching out whatever you need to stretch out. You're taking it down into an X-Men plank. X-Men planks are next. So, with an X-Men plank, and I'm gonna face you, normal plank, coming with your wrists directly under your shoulders. X-Men plank, you're walking your legs out, walking your arms. Don't smash your face on the ground. Just move everything out of the way so you make that nice little X from above, right? Holding it right here. So taking it to this side, wider than your mat, okay? Like so. Notice I'm not up here. Everything is nice and tight, right here. So set it up, get ready, and let's go. Find it, settle into it. Hands out, nice and wide. Notice my back, everything is still in line. I'm not up here, I'm not down here. Still holding that plank. And hang out, not moving, unless you wanna take it wider. It's the only way you're moving. And hang out with me. You have 15 seconds. It's a little different, right? Different muscles. 10 seconds, lift. Find the shoulder muscles you didn't know you had. Stay with it. Change. All right. Shake it off. And come on down, all the way back down. You got weight transfers from front to back in that prone position. Set it up. And let's go. Take it up. Bring those weights down. Take it up. Weights up. Hup. How you feel? Hup. 15 seconds left. Make sure your legs are staying straight. You're pulling with your glutes and your back. Up, okay? Hup. James. Take it back. Roll it up. All right. One more on the ground. <laughs> My coffee. Okay. I'm gonna get everything out of my way. Okay, just fluttering, just flutter kicks. Take it all the way down, fluttering like this. You're gonna roll to one side. Keep that flutter going, rolling to the other side. Rolling, rolling. Okay, roll to one, roll to the other. Set it up, ready? Let's go, take it to one side, roll. Shoulder blades are up, so you're in that banana position. See a theme? See what I did there? More bananas, but you're rolling with them. Flutter, flutter. Make sure that those legs don't come down. Take it to the side. Take it to the other side, change. Okay, holding that flutter in the middle. You're fluttering up, you can scissor if you want. Fluttering back down, elevated scissor kicks, let's go. Take it up, take that tailbone up off the ground, right back down, up and right back down. Take her up, right back down. Keep it going. Up and down, change. You got side to side banana flutter kicks. Ready? 
Let's go. Flutter, flutter. Take it to the side. Kick. When you're kicking on the side, you just feel it right here. Take it to the other side. Kick, 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 kick. Kick, kick, kick. Nice and low. Kick, 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 kick. Nice and low. Nice and low. Stay low. Change. <laughs> All right. Hands come down. Sit on them. Get yourself ready for those elevated scissor kicks. Ready or not, let's go. Take it up. Take it back down. Take it up. Right back down. You can do it. Make sure you're coming down with control. Don't slam your butt on the mat. Change. One more. Side to side. One more. Elevated. Ready or not? Let's go. Take it to the side. Kick, 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 kick. Other side. Kick, kick, kick. Hesitate on either side. Stay here for a second. And then go to the other side. Keep those heels up. You can do it. James. One more elevated scissor kick, then we'll stand up and do more fun shit. Ready or not? Let's go. There we go. <laughs> For that timer. Come all the way up, back down. Right back up. Right back down. Come down with control. Control your landing. <laughs> I see little boxes at the top with legs flying all over the place. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Change. All right. Roll it up. Stand it up. Grab some water. Meet me right. Yeah. No resistance band for this. Yeah. Okay. No resistance band for this. We're taking a lunge. So I tried this before. I could do it. <laughs> so we're going to do it. Okay. Grab a weight or two whatever you want. If you want a little bit heavier of a weight, that's cool. If not, that's okay too. Find your lunge. So you want to find your pinwheel. Notice where I am. My front knee is directly over my ankle. My body is both, my body is right above this back knee. So I'm looking for this nice little pinwheel. Okay. You're going to take, if your left leg is forward, you take your right arm reaching for that foot. And that doesn't mean round your back. Okay, your tailbone is still dropped. You don't want to bring your tailbone up. Tailbone is still dropped. You're taking it down towards that foot, bringing it up and twisting towards that leg. What? Okay, so you're in that lunge, right? Take it down. Okay, opposite arm. Reaches down, come back up, twist towards the standing leg. Down, all the way up, twist, back, down up, twist, back, okay? So, let's all do the same leg. So we got this. Left leg forward. Ready or not, we'll do the first one slow. Ready, let's go. Right arm down, right arm up, twist to the left, back. Right arm up, twist left, back. Shut up, Lisa, I get it. Okay, take it to the side. What you're gonna feel is your glute because you're in this standing heel, right? Because you're always in your heels. Change. Don't move. You got three more on the same side. That was one. You're in this standing heel. Let's go. Take it down, take it up. Twist it to the side. Notice my back is nice and straight. Twist it to the side. I have a steel rod in my back, right? Back straight. Up I go, twist. Keep your back straight, look forward. Don't look at your toes. Change. Don't move. You got two more on the same side. Keep that left foot forward. You'll feel it in your glutes right about now. Let's go. Right arm down, Hup. twist, back. Keeping your gaze forward, leading with your chin and your chest. Down, up. Twist. The further down you go, the more you're gonna feel it 
and that glute. You're welcome. Change. <laughs> All right, one more. Same side. Don't move that leg. Let's go. Down, up, twist, back. Twist. Down, up, and to the side. You can do this. You did it so far. James. Uh. All right. You got four on the other side. Set her up. Let's go. So right foot forward, left arm down, twist to the right. Left arm down, twist to the right. This is the other side. Make sure you're pushing through that front right heel. You're still not bending that back. Change. No rounding still. This knee's not gonna bend behind me, so deal with it, okay? Okay. Ready? Set two. Let's go. Take it down, bring it up, twist to the side. Twist. Take it down, take it up. Make sure your gaze stays up. Back stays straight. If you, whoa, <laughs> if you're doing them right, change. You're gonna feel it here, okay? If you're all willy-nilly, you're gonna feel it in your back. You shouldn't feel anything in your back. Lower that tailbone, let's go. Drop that left hand, bring it up, out to the side. Make sure you have that nice deep lunge to the side. The further down you go, the more you're going to feel it in that glute. Ah, change. Don't move. Set it up. Last one. Ready? You can do it. Okay. Take it down, bring it up, switch it to the side. Take it down, bring it up. Ground through that heel. Push yourself back. Look up. I know you're tired. It doesn't give you an excuse to look down. Look up. Aha, change. Shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. All right. Find the back of your mat. You have walking push-ups. All right, so this is meant to move you around. It's kind of cardio, also a little hidden um, hamstring, okay? If you are not doing walking push-ups and burpees with me today, just march it out, okay? Maybe grab those weights and march it out. Just march it out. What I'm looking for, if you're gonna come with me, legs at the back of your mat. Bend over best you can with those nice straight legs. Start walking yourself out to your push-up position. Lower those knees if you need to. Take that push-up, come back onto your toes, and pull yourself up. Squeeze those glutes at the top. I want that, uh, okay? Walk it back, walk it back up. Ready or not, walking push-ups. Round one, let's go. Take it all the way out. Knees come down if you want them to, and take it back. Squeeze. Walk it out. Take it down. Take it back and squeeze. All the way. Back you go. Change. I got stuck in the middle. All right. Walk it out to the top of your mat. You got burpee time. Hands up. You know what a burpee is. All the way up. Take it down. Step it out. Step it back. Bring it right back up. Let's go. You can walk it out. You can walk it back. Whatever you're doing. If you're not burping with me, run it out. Just move your body. That's all I'm looking for right now. Move, move, move. Change. Step it back. Back of your mat. Walking push-ups. Round two. Ready? Let's go. Oh. Oops. I hear my kids. <laughs> my kids are running around. It's a 
like a time bomb. <sighs> Change. Fuck. Keep getting stuck. Take it to the front of your mat. Perfect time. Set it up. Let's go. Take it up. Take it back. <sighs> No need to jump. We're not that serious here. If you're jumping, good for you. Change. I don't mind, either way. All right, if you're up, get down. If you're down, stay down. All right. Ow. All the way down on your mat. We're going for shoulder tap push-ups to start. Okay, shoulder tap push-ups. So find your push-up position, whether it be on your toes or on your knees. Go knees. You gotta shoulder tap it. So, tap one side, tap the other. Notice I'm not all over the place, okay? Tap one side, keep it tight. Tap the other side, come on down. Push it up, tap, tap, push it up, okay? Find your taps, set it up, and let's go. Tap, tap. Take it down, bring it up. Tap, tap, take it down, bring it up. Keep your core tight. I didn't go through my push-up spiel, because you've heard it a thousand times, but just don't, okay? Tap, tap, take it down. All right, change. Grab your weights. Grab your weights, grab your weights. Coming up into this field goal position. Bring it together, bring it right back out. Ready, 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 ready? On your knees or on your feet, I don't care. Let's go, take it in, take it out. Take it in, take it out. Make sure your shoulders stay away from your ears. You don't turn into a turtle. Okay, chest forward, collarbone open, in and out. La, 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 <laughs> change, okay. Hold those elbows together and pulse, 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 pulse. Ready? Let's go. It's a lot easier when you don't have boobs <laughs> like me. So stay in front of those big girls if you've got them. Stay on top. Right here is where you're pulsing. Keep those elbows together if you can. Change. <sighs> All right, real goals. Ready? Right here. Bring it together. Take it right back out. Set it up and go. In, out. In, out. Make sure you still have that parallel. You're not down here now. Woo, that's a whole different thing. Keep it up high. You can do this. You got it. You got it. Change. All right, one more. Elbows together if you can, and bounce it up. Let's go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Right, yeah. Almost. You got it, you got it. Keep it together. Ah! Change, take it down. Take it down. All right, good. Grab those weights, moving on a little bit. Hold on to those weights. You got tricep kickbacks, everybody. Weights or no weights, okay? If you don't have weights, I don't care. It's fine, you still get it. If you don't have weights, curl your digits. Make this, all right? That's what I'm looking for. So curl it around. You want to be parallel with the ground with those triceps, all the way back, coming back in, all the way back, coming back in. Set it up, bend it over, standing, kneeling, don't care, let's go. All the way back, all the way back. Stay parallel if you can. I know it's hard to stay. I think I'm parallel now and I look at the camera, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> this hurts worse when you do it, right? You can do it though, Dave. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> keeping those arms back, 
You want to bring it together. Let's go. Bring it together. Bring it together. Bring it together. If your arms aren't perfectly parallel, that's okay. You're still getting it. Stay with it. Change. Take it down. Kick back one more time. Ready? Let's go. Kick it back. Kick it back. Kick it back. Take it slow. Get that full extension out there. Full extension. Almost. It's only 20 seconds. Change. It feels like longer for some of these exercises, I know. Keep it up nice and straight. Clap those hands together. Set it up. Let's go. Clap. 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 Bend it over. Keep it up. Nice and high if you can. Whew. Keep it up. Hop, hop. Change. Take it down. Drop those weights. One more set. Come on down if you're standing. <clears throat> Sorry. Come on down. One more. Shoulder tap push ups. Because I want to do the same thing we started with. Ready? Let's. Hold on. There we go. Shoulder tap push ups. Tap, tap. Push it up. Tap, tap. Let's go. Keep that push up position. Keep your tailbone tucked. Keep yourself in a line. Change. All right. Up to you. <laughs> You're standing. Sorry. I had to mess with you. Okay. Coffee. All right, so you're coming out nice and wide. I still don't have that band on because I'm scared it's gonna pull my knee in. So you guys get bandless workout today, which is fine, right? Right? Right. Okay. So you're coming down nice and low on that sumo squat. Find your sumo. So super low, like a dude on a park bench, like hanging out, leaning back. Find that sumo squat. Toes forward, sumo squat, okay? Find that sumo squat where your knees are still over your ankles, coming down nice and low. You're pushing to one side and one side only. Push to the right for that lateral squat. Back to sumo. Notice I'm not coming up at all. Lateral to sumo. Lateral to sumo, okay? Lean back the whole time. It's low and you're staying here. Not a lot of movement going on, but you don't need it if you stay low. <laughs> Key is stay low. Ready, set it up, let's go. Find that sumo, stay low. Sumo, stay low. If you need to move your feet to find your sumo and find your lateral, do so. Okay, this guy's just pushing over here. This is where you're feeling it. Look up, look up, look up. You don't have to look at me, just look up, change. All right, find that seam side, that lateral squat. You're pulsing right here in this lateral squat. Make sure that that knee is relatively over that ankle. Let's go. So that same side, pulse here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Take it to the side, take it low if you got it. Okay, chest up, look up, look up, look up. Don't check, don't look, check once. Your feet don't move, I promise. Change, take it up. Same idea, same side. Still moving from sumo to lateral, same side. Ready, let's go. Sumo, lateral, sumo. All the way over. <laughs> take it over. Good, stay low. Working right here. I'm sure I don't have to tell you where it's working. 
I know you feel it. Stay low. Change. Taking that lateral for that pulse. Ready? Same side. Right here. Let's go. Pulse it out. This leg stays straight. Left leg straight. Right leg pulsing. You're in the heel of that right foot. Stay low. Stay low. Chest up. None of this. None of that. Stay up. Change. Shake it off. Find your feet. Other side. Sumo to lateral to the left. Ready? Take it sumo. Lateral. Give yourself to find that flow. Find your rhythm. Find your full lateral squat. Even if you're in your old footprints from the other side, it might not be right. It might not feel right on this side. Figure out what you need to do. Change to make it feel good. That's not a thing. Feel what you need to do to make it feel painful <laughs> in all the right ways. All right, take that lateral squat, pulse it right here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Chest up, gaze up, chest open, collarbone open. If you have a hard time staying up and you wanna do this, put your arms back. Help yourself out. Don't sit like this. Do this instead. Change. Set yourself up for success, whatever that may be. All right, sumo to lateral, same side. Moving to the left. Find your sumo, take it to the side. Like half a speed skater, right? To the side. If you have a death grip with your toes, loosen up your mat, loosen up your toes, throw it in your heel, side, side, change, bring it up. One more lateral pulse, ready? This is almost one of the last things. <laughs> See how I did that? I don't know what that means. But you're almost there. Stay low. Chest up. Toes forward. Lean it over. Change. All right. Come on down. We got one more thing. Okay, <clears throat> grab a weight. You've done this. Last thing for you today. <clears throat> Get into that comfy position. Bring that top leg in front of that bottom one. Okay. If you have a weight, you can put that weight on your thigh. You don't have to get fresh with the weight. It doesn't need to be that high. It should actually be lower. Take it low, not on your knee, okay? Just low. Hold on to that weight through that hole that you're creating. Don't try to go to the back. This doesn't work, okay? Right here. <clears throat> All right, you're leaning forward. I'm gonna say it about 200 times within the next two minutes. Lean forward, all right? What we're doing is you're taking that, that bottom leg Toes are facing forward, right? You're leaning forward. You're, pull, you're pulling that bottom leg up nice and straight, keeping it high. See how high you can keep that leg? You're pulsing it right here. The weight or your hand pushing down on your leg is using your own resistance to help that inner thigh work. I don't know if any of that made sense. Don't care, I'm going with it. Flex that bottom foot, ready or not, let's go. All right, so I'm always saying two hips in one line. In this instance, yes, two hips in one line, but if you can twist from your torso, chest forward, okay? Keeping that bottom leg bouncing nice and high. Flex that foot, keep that weight in check. All right, the higher that you go up with this leg, the more you're gonna feel it in that bottom inner thigh. 30 seconds down, 30 to go, roll it forward. Roll it forward. Trust me, roll it forward. Like one boob on the ground. Go 
come forward. Roll it forward, 10 seconds left. Keep that leg nice and high, roll it all the way forward. All the way, all the way, flex that foot. Keep it high. You can do it. Change, all right. Other side, <laughs> and you're free to go. Okay, find that comfy position. Take that top leg up, put that weight right there. Top leg down. One minute left of class. Ready or not, flex that foot, let's go. Roll it forward. Bottom foot is flexed. Two hips in one line, chest forward. Coming forward a little bit more. See, I told you, I said, I'm gonna say it about 200 times in two minutes. I wasn't kidding. Roll it forward, roll it forward. Boob on the ground, you got 30 seconds left. Make sure that that leg stays nice and high. Just bouncing that weight. Roll it forward, a little bit more. You got 20 seconds left. Keep that leg up nice and high. Higher, 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 higher. I know you're tired, but this is it. You got 10 seconds left to class. Roll that bitch forward all the way, chest to the ground. Eee. Five left. Change. All right, take it down. <clears throat> Do what feels good to you. I feel like this would feel really good. And it does. Take that butterfly out onto your back. You can switch it out for a happy baby if you want. Grabbing the outsides or the insides, I've seen it both ways. Just pedaling those feet. If you have the room, oh, that was a good one. Take it for a wide leg, happy baby. Bring yourself back together. Legs to the ground. Oh. You can take that spinal twist, shoulder blades to the ground, taking it one side. Take it to the other. Back in the center. Rolling yourself all the way up. You need to give yourself one of these. One of these. Find what feels good. You know what muscles you work today. So stretch those. Feel what feels right. Oh, that one's a good one. <laughs> that one feels kind of good. It's a little creature, creature roll. I look like, what is that from the ring? <laughs> it's kind of scary looking. Never seen myself do that before. All right. This is where I leave you. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy the rest of your life. I will see you Friday.